Let's see this question. We need to solve for A. Mm -hmm. So this given equation, we can rewrite as equal to this. Don't forget about this equal to zero, right? Subtracting this, we can move this to the right hand side. So it doesn't make this equal to. Now, the left hand side, we can rewrite it, right? This each step is square root, square root, square root. So the index is a two. For this seven, we can write as rational exponent. Square root of seven is a seven raised by half, right? Rational exponent. So the power of seven is one. It becomes a numerator of this rational exponent. The index is the denominator of this rational exponent. The second seven, this one, so seven multiply, what well, is multiplication, right? Seven raised by, so square root, square root, that's the seven raised by half, then again, raised by half. So the Third seven, this seven is a seven raised by half, raised by half, raised by half, because three layers of square root, right? Square root, square root, square root. Then that equals to 2,401 raised by eight. Now, so the base are the same, right? So I have seven raised by half, each base is a seven plus, but this exponent will have half times half, which becomes quarter. This will have a half times half times half, which becomes one eighth. So that equals two. Well, let's think about the 2,401. That's a divided by seven. Because this base on the left-hand side is seven, so we want to make, ideally, could have a base seven, then raised by certain power. Right, so we need to figure out this power. So then in the quotient, three times seven, 21. Subtract, we get a three, so 30. Well, that's four, four times seven, 28. Subtracting, you get two, 21. Okay, bingo, 343. Seven times 343. And the 343, if you know, that can be divided by seven again. So seven, um, Four, right? Because it's five, five times seven, 35, but 34 is smaller than 35. So 28 subtracting, we get a six, 63. 63, you get a nine, because seven times nine, 63, right? Subtract, get a zero. Well, 49 is a seven squared. So that means 2,401 is a seven times seven times 49 is a seven squared. So we have seven times seven times seven squared, which is seven raised by four. Okay, seven raised by four is 2,401, now raised by eight. Okay, two layers of exponents, the seven raised by four, eight. Well, this left-hand side is this, seven raised by this. Well, seven, base seven, base seven on both sides. So that forces the numer the their exponent to be the same. So which means one half plus one quarter plus one eighth equals to four eight. Now we want to combine these three terms, half quarter and eight. We multiply by four over four, multiply by two over two. So to make a common denominator of eight. So I have four plus two plus one, which is a seven. So seven over eight equals to four eight divided by four on both sides or multiply by quarter on both sides. So A equals to seven over A times quarter is seven over 32. Okay, the equation is solved. It means A equals to seven over 32.